Hello, my name's John Swales and I'm making 26 prayers for the climate and ecological emergency at 26 different locations in the Leeds area. And we really are in an emergency. Unless things change drastically, we face a future of mass migration, mass starvation and societal collapse. So why 26 prayers? Well, because later this year is the UN 26 COP climate change uh, conference where the leaders of the world will seek to get together and to hold each other accountable for their uh, carbon emissions. Stephen Hawkins said this, one can see from space how the human race has changed the earth. Nearly all of the available land has been cleared of forest and is now used for agriculture or urban development. The polar ice caps are shrinking and the desert areas are increasing. At night, the earth is no longer dark but large areas are lit up. All of this is evidence that human exploitation of the planet is reaching a critical limit. But human demands and expectations are ever increasing. We cannot continue to pollute the atmosphere poison the ocean and exhaust the land. There isn't any more available. Let us pray. Father of creation, God of grace, we thank you for the gift of this world, for beauty, for the gift of life and love. Father of creation, God of grace, we thank you for the stunning diversity found within creation mountains, streams and the changing of the seasons. You declared it to be good and it is good. It is beautiful. Thank you. We thank you for our capacity to behold the mystery of wonder. For the times when our breath is taken away by what we behold. You declared it to be good and it is good. It is beautiful, thank you. We thank you that we share this world with non-human worshippers, a diverse choir that proclaims your praise. The sunset moth of Madagascar worships you with each beat of its wings. The swallow-tailed hummingbird honours you as it hovers. The candy crab proclaims your praise as it turns yellow, white and pink. The Zanzibar red colobus with its unique odour. The black-backed kingfisher, small and precious in your sight. We thank you. And yet we recognise that your world is grieving. For the diversity of your world becomes less diverse. Instead of acting as gardeners, we have plundered Eden. We have misused our power. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. We live in a world of endlings and extinctions. We have misused our power. And we have unleashed the gates of hell through consumerism and unrestrained capitalism. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy. And yet, we hear your call afresh. You have not abandoned us, but you have shown your love to us in Jesus. And yet we hear your call afresh. You are the healer of all hurts, and you will make all things new. Equip us afresh, O oh Father, that we would turn away from our parasitical tendencies and instead revigorate us by your Spirit so that we, your church, can look and love like Jesus, so that we too can partake of the Holy Kingdom rebellion for all that is good, true and beautiful. 
Father, would you call us afresh to our poetical and prophetic calling so that we can discern and speak truth as to the reality that we are in. Father, we ask that you would call us afresh to our poetical and prophetic calling so that we can offer a fresh imagination and story to a world which seems hell-bent on destruction. Father of creation, God of grace, wake us up, equip us afresh. The world is in peril. Let us be your hands and feet. Father of creation, God of grace, we thank you for the gift of this world, for beauty, for the gift of life and love. You declared it to be good, and it is good. It is beautiful. Thank you. Father of creation, God of grace, we thank you for the stunning diversity found within creation, for mountains and streams and the changing of the seasons. You declared it to be good, and it is good. It is beautiful. Thank you. Amen. Amen and amen.